My name is Enzo Amore, and I am a certified G and a bona fide stump. And you can't teach that. And this right here, this is Big Cass, and he's seven foot tall. And you can't teach that. Bada boom, realest guys in a room. How you doing? Man, the tag team scene has been on fire of late here in WWE. And I think we're about to see another hot one. You'd be hard pressed to find a better tag team match than we're about to see here. And for our so-called opponents tonight, we have one word to describe them. And I'm gonna spell it out for you. And their opponents first, from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, the game, Triple H. Four of WWE's finest squaring off in what will assuredly be an exciting tag team encounter. There's no denying that this is a tremendous tag team combination. It reminds me of the old APA. And his tag team partner, representing D Generation X from San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 225 pounds, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Oh, the referee will undoubtedly have his hands full when these two teams collide. It's matches like this that make WWE the most watched show on cable week after week. King, I saw Enzo Amore walking around the locker room area earlier today with a tremendous amount of confidence. I know. For a 5'11 newcomer, he sure does act like he owns the place. Oh, man. I wouldn't be surprised to see that eye swell up after that. Oh, wait. Nice reversal. The game avoids trouble there. Yeah, Triple H saw that one coming a mile away. Well, on the topic of Enzo Amore here, well, tell us your thoughts. King, if trash talking covers. Looking fresh right now, which is good. You got to wonder how much longer that can last, though.
Look at the attack here. Oh, man. Talk about a direct hit. I don't like how slow he is to react right now. What? Does he have his eyes open? Oh, DDT! That's got to be it. It only takes a couple of those to bring his night to an end. Shawn Michaels switches it up. HBK can be so unpredictable. Lack of confidence certainly isn't an issue for Enzo Amore, as King noted earlier, which is a bit surprising considering he's barely 200 pounds. There's times when he's in the ring with guys twice his size. One, two. Oh, man, from the high rent district. I wouldn't know what that's like. Wants this battle decided inside the ring. And that's why he's such a great athlete, such a, an important superstar. Uh-oh, climbing the turnbuckle. Getting some air here. I need some too after sitting next. Here's the cover. And the shoulder's up in time. Well, as long as it's up before that three count, that's all that matters. Well, sure, Enzo Amore is oftentimes the smallest guy in the ring, but he's also a lot of times the craftiest. Sometimes a little smarts can make all the difference. Man, he's still down after that move. I almost wonder if his bell got seriously rung there. Colin Cassidy doing a great job of turning that around. Michaels is the prototypical superstar. Only he can do the things that we're seeing. With this kind of attack, you have to wonder just how much longer they can compete in this match. Yeah. Into the cover goes Michaels. Two. Attacking from the top. out some serious punishment here. Now that's how you do it. You gotta watch out for Colin Cassidy's East River Crossing. That could end this one in a hurry. Just toying with the competition a little. Oh, out of nowhere! Enzo Amore with good timing here. Enzo Amore is making full use of this open moment. And here comes Enzo Amore! Too much! This match is being televised around the world in 18 languages and in over 110 countries. Absolutely amazing. The, the shoulders are down. One, two. Whoa! HBK dodged that one. The thing that makes Colin Cassidy's East River Crossing so dangerous is that it's both dizzying and impactful. Yeah, it's double trouble, Cole. There's no getting up from the East River Crossing. Man, that one rocked him. It won't take long for the aggression to escalate quickly in this one. You're right, Cole. These two don't like each other. And we're going to find out how much they really do dislike each other in this match. The repetition on that move is becoming deliberate at this point. Nice reversal by Michaels. Yeah, how many times have we seen that from HBK over the years? The range of emotions here is starting. There's almost an unknowing of what to expect on the table. What destruction with absolutely no care for their own well-being. That announcer's table has been completely annihilated. Good grief. That thing looks like a pile of sawdust at a lumber yard. When you're in the ring with Enzo Amore, you have to look out for one of those lightning fast feet, including when you're on the offensive. I mean, he's incredibly tough to catch. Back in the ring now. Yeah, let's just see how long they can keep it in the ring. Oh, wait, nice reversal. We're looking at complete domination here. And here comes perhaps Enzo Amore has this match won now, people. Here's the cover. Four. 
The thing that makes Colin Cassidy's East River Crossing so dangerous is that it's both dizzying and impactful. Yeah, it's double trouble, Cole. There's no getting up from the East River Crossing. Not the first time we've seen this move tonight. Fighting from a position of full health here. Oh, out of nowhere! Colin Cassidy has fire in his eyes now. He makes the tag! He's simply reminding him that he's here. Triple H is part of an elite group where the mere mention of his name invokes visions of history. His greatest moment in WWE lore might just be at the end of an era match where he, along with The Undertaker and Shawn Michaels, are standing together, arm in arm, looking out at the crowd of more than 78,000. I get chills just... Uh-oh, submission leg lock! Oh, that's hurting my legs just watching it! Sometimes the best offense is a great defense, and that's exactly what we're seeing here. Sky's the limit. Enzo Amore is going to win it here. And Enzo has looked very impressive in this match. Oh, and he's going to have to do something big here. His partner is in bad shape. When you look at Triple H's career as a whole, he is WWE history. When I think of all his conquests, I can't help but think of WrestleMania 20. That's it. He's out. We're looking at complete domination here. Oh, wait, nice reverse. Two. There can only be one top dog here in the WWE, and a win here will go a long way in solidifying one of these guys' claims of being the best in the business. And Triple H with a reversal. And that's because the game has a gift for getting out of trouble, Cole. You know, all the great moments we've all talked about from Triple H's heralded career. And Cole, you mentioned the story end of an era match earlier. In the end, it will all... Oh, this isn't good. My God, I can't believe this. Look at that. The table just imploded from that impact. I can't believe what we just witnessed. Yeah, in all my years in this business, and we were putting people through tables in Memphis in the 80s. I don't think I've ever seen a table just collapse like that before. Face first, pedigree for the game. Three. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. I can't blame him. Keep it in the ring. Check this out. How you doing is right. Thanks to Colin Cassidy here. This has been one of Big Cass's toughest fights in WWE or anywhere else. After a move like that, he's going to need a chiropractor in his near future. Well, we all know that Triple H is a very private person, and history has shown what happens to opponents when they try to use his family as a bargaining chip. It doesn't end very well for them. destruction no one was expecting. No kidding, this is getting ugly. Looking to go, Skyborn. Wow. Neither of these teams appear to be showing any quit here tonight, King. No, and I didn't expect them to either, Cole. These two teams are true professionals. We're looking at great counter. And into the cover. Another 
another great tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. Bringing it back between the ropes. And that's a good thing. Wow, that was a wild strike. Talk about missing the target. Yeah, it looked like it was completely out of desperation. Colin Cassidy, no problem getting out of that one. This could be all she wrote. And Colin Cassidy nails it. Stay down. Stay down. Remember, momentum in WWE can turn on a dime. And leave you some change. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Night of Champions and what an historic night it promises to be. It looks like all four competitors are going at it. This is what I like. Quick thinking to avoid that. Enzo Amore finds a way out. Oh, look at this. He's been opened up. I can't believe this is still going on. This has reached the point of savagery. And there's not a doctor or EMT in sight. Shawn Michaels hit that one. Wow, now that's what you call a finisher. This might be it. Hot damn, it's exciting. Boy, he just got laid out. Looking for all the glory here. Two, three. And he's in there. He got it. There was no love lost in that match. And look at the impact in these highlights. You want to talk about incredible high-impact sports entertainment? And here's just some of the action we saw during the match. I can't believe what we saw during this one. Here are your winners. The game, Triple H, and the Hart. I love a good tag team match, and this one was unforgettable. I mean, these teams gave us everything they had, and the WWE Universe is the true winner in this one. And don't forget you and I. We had the best seats in the house. I don't care how many wins you have. Whenever your hand is raised in victory, a certain level of excitement comes over you. Well, that was indeed a great match, and I think it's worth emphasizing how huge this victory is.